Hello, bonjour. So recently I saw a video of someone showing that the alternative to liquify in Krita was uh, this brush preset here, the distort move tool. And this is not exactly true because if you take it and start to deform here, for example, the inking layer, you can see that uh, the line quickly become blurs and you can't really deform a line art or a rendering with it. It's false, it doesn't look great, it's not professional. So, uh, of course, it's not the real location of the liquify tool. The liquify tool in Krita is a transformation mode. So you have to take the transform tool here in the toolbar and you have to right click on the transformation because by default it's in free mode. So just scale, rotate, uh, this type of classic things. And you go to liquify here. Once you click on liquify, you will get this uh, sort of brush outline on the canvas and you can, you see, deform it. But as you can see also, the performance are really poor. Uh, the liquify tool in Krita is very slow because of a default and the default can be set in the tool option. So if you go to the tool option, it's hidden behind the color selector here on the corner. Uh, you can go to preview and put it to fast. Uh, with the fast mode, you will get a little bit speed up, but you will also lose in rendering. But don't be worried for this uh, rendering because once you right click and apply or press enter on your keyboard, uh, Krita will recompute and all the line will look good again. So it's just a preview to accelerate the deformation. And that's probably what you want to look for. And if you want to speed up things even further, uh, you can do a selection like the square selection around the character. Uh, press Ctrl T, right click, liquify, and then on a small selection of pixel, it will be very butter smooth. And here you can do some very thin adjustment and um, in little advantage in Krita, you can also mirror while doing uh, the, the transformation, the liquefied transformation. And this is uh, very useful to correct some proportion problem, for example. So once you are done, you press enter and you have this transformation. So I'm undoing this. And last detail of this video that I want to show you is um, something that Krita is able to do also, uh, it's to liquefy on multiple layers at the same time. So if I have here my character in the middle, you see that it's a line art and there is under some flat color and on the top a shading here. And if I do some deformation, I want to apply the deformation on the three layers at the same time. So I can do that by uh, grouping them here you can see that I put them inside a group and if I select this group and I will do a little selection around them, this is just to speed up as I show it because I don't want all the pixel of the canvas to be affected by the liquify. I press Ctrl T, but I can also select the transform tool, right click, liquify and here I can just start to shape, for example, something for the sword or change our facial expression for something like uh, this. Or for the demo, I, I will not do something very, uh, very special, but you can see how it works and what uh, useful change you can do uh, at the end, especially when you have, for example, a, a finger that needs, for example, a little bit more a shape or, or something, a leg or arm, uh, your choice. Once you're done, you press enter and Krita will recompute all the layer. And then you have your line art that is deformed and your flat color and your shading. So I thought that was pretty cool and uh, that was worth seeing a demo about it. So I hope you learned something about the Liquify tool. If you like the video, just leave a thumb up and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.